Yes, here it is, the V-Wing Emerger. When I fished the River Itchen in 2010, the go-to fly was a tiny little size 16 yellow clink hammer, which was wonderful in calm weather, but if it got a bit windy or a bit choppy, we found that the fly was drowning uh, and, the, and the hook wasn't piercing the surface film because of the, the yellow dubbing was still full of little air bubbles and making it float. Um, so I came up with a fly which in rough water would do the same thing as a clink hammer, have the same appeal, um, but would hopefully ride that rough water. Um, I made a body, as you can see here, of um, thread, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, deer hair wings, and a little thorax. So what you need to tie it is, uh, first of all, you need some of Bill's Stretchy Foam. It's an American product um, imported by Fly Tying Boutique. Wonderful stuff. Nice and stretchy, about 16th of an inch thin. Um, you need some deer hair, like this, which is also imported by Fly Tying Boutique. Very nice stuff. And you need some of my favourite dubbing, Hare's Ear Ice Dub. Okay. Now, the hook is a Camasan B100, and I make, I make these up before I start tying the actual fly. Um, you just use thread, and you seal the thread with um, your favourite varnish, or hard as nails, or in this case, bug bond I use to get a nice, smooth, shiny uh, body which will easily pierce the surface film of the water. Let's try and do one. Um, we'll take her, uh, we'll stay with yellow, uh, because that's the, um, that seems to be what they like most. I don't know if it's because we, <laughs> we fish it most, but they seem to like a yellow body where I was fishing. Um, they also like black on occasion. Um, put a little bit of thread. I'm using a black thread here. Um, very nice thread that splits easily. Bring the thread right up and put it over the end of the body because that's where we're going to tie in the thorax cover of Bill Stretchy Foam. Good old Bill. Right, here it is. I've prepared this bit earlier. And we'll tie it in on the side and roll it over the hook very carefully, like that. Over you go. Come along, don't be shy. That's it. There we go. Next you need some of this nice deer hair. We'll snip ourselves off a little bit. Not too much. Don't use too much, otherwise it, it, it just unbalances the fly. There we go. Whoops, dropped it. <laughs> Here we are. Lovely. Um, when you first snip it, take out all the fluff and the stray bits at the end, like that, get rid of those. And then we want to get all the tips together so the wings look nice and neat. And um, to do that, we put that it in a hair stacker like that and give it a little tap. So let's have a look. There it is. Yep, fairly even. Take it out, there we go. Um, the length of the wing is the length between the eye of the hook and the point of the hook. And then we'll just tie that in on the side of the hook and roll it into place gently, two loose wraps, two, and then tighten up as you come forward. Now, as you see, that is fanning out, but we mustn't panic. There we go. Adjust where necessary. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that. That's quite a long process, so if I may, I'll have a little speed. Thank you very much. There we go. Now bind the last bits down. Like that, come back. Now for the dubbing. Um, as I said before, you only need a noodle of dubbing, a small noodle of dubbing like this. There we are little twist like that. And then taking your um, sewing machine needle, you split the thread. The reason I dub in this style is because I'm lousy doing it the traditional way. I know it's hard to believe really, isn't it? But it's true. <laughs> uh, put it in like that and spin the bobbin. And there you have I think is a nearly neat little dubbing rope. Okay, 
we'll just wind that over itself a couple of times, a couple more times, coming down, and then when we get in front of it, we'll do a couple of half hitches to secure it. Now comes the fairly tricky bit, pulling the thorax cover forward, because what we've got to do, we've got to work out, are we actually halfway? Have we got even wings? We'll just pull them apart, just have a little look. Bring them forward, rather than the thorax cover forward, stroke the fibres back, should end up with it looking something like that. Okie dokie. We're going to tie down the thorax cover. First of all, gentle, gentle loops over the top there. Have a look. Yes, we're about right. And once we've got them in place, a couple of nice tight ones in front of those. And then to snip this material, it's the same with all slightly rubberized material. You pull and snip. Pull, snip, pull, Snip, pull, snip, pull, snip. Come along. That's it. Then bind those end pieces down like that. There we are. And finish off with three half hitches, which is, of course, as everybody knows, is a whip finish. There we are. The V-Wing Emerger. Try it. It works really well in rough water. In fact, it works pretty well in smooth water. Enjoy.